My name is Ruth Seneca. I'm unemployed. What's your struggle? Today, I wanted to get something off my chest in relation to unsolicited advice. At this point in my life, as a 22-year-old newlywed looking for a job, I feel as though I receive so much unsolicited advice. Not only am I not, I am not only am, what? English. Not only am I a unemployed 22-year-old newlywed, I also am that and I'm living with my grandpa who's in his 80s. And we all know how the boomers love to just speak into people's lives because it fills their ego. <laughs> So right now, I am just receiving millions of pieces of unsolicited advice. Also, I'm so sorry. Let me just give this a disclaimer. I'm going to be so sweaty because uh, I don't feel like recording this in a room in my grandpa's house because I don't want him walking in or being like, who are you talking to? Uh, and then I also don't want to step outside because I just don't feel comfortable there. Like, there's too many people. Like, look there's too many people roaming around and i just don't need that every time i look at people outside just doing their thing i'm like what a bother <laughs> but yeah i i don't want to step outside because i don't want to interact with anybody or anything and in my car i am guaranteed a subset of privacy that i would not get anywhere else so right now i'm in a period of life that i feel like i'm receiving a bunch of unsolicited advice that i don't need especially from people who are not qualified to give me it it's just so much advice that i'm not gonna use all the time <laughs> i feel really bad about saying that <laughs> because he just loves me and he just wants to speak into my life but then a little bit of me is like no you don't <laughs> And no, you don't. A large part of unsolicited advice to me, also, let's just define unsolicited advice the way that I feel it. Unsolicited advice is advice that you did not ask for, is people wanting to give you their opinion based off their experiences, perspectives, whatever else pertaining to them onto you when you're speaking about something that they feel as though they need to speak on, um, when, from my perspective, they don't need to speak on it. So that's what unsolicited advice is to me, is like people just wanting to give their their peace without it even being asked for. And with old people, it happens a lot. <laughs> it happens a lot. There's some unsolicited advice I know that like I probably don't think I need, but maybe I do need like subconsciously that I can't be like too prideful to not receive. Why are you parking next to me if there was the whole entire park for you to park at why are you parked right next to me sir <laughs> anyways um this car literally dude why are you right there when you have the whole the whole entire parking lot you can't see this but there's a whole <laughs> entire line there's there's so there's so much there's so much you could live in abundance, yet you live in scarcity. Which, okay, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> but I live with a boomer. Oh, to me, I don't even know if it's just because I'm sensitive and I read into every single thing. But some things just need to be read, okay? Some people are books and they want to give you just the cover. But there is a whole entire... Con <laughs> there is a whole entire table of contents that needs to be dissected and i'm the girl who's gonna read into it okay unsolicited advice to me sometimes especially coming from older people especially coming from older people i feel as though it's just self-serving when older people like try to say try to pull the but back in my day or like they try to uh, mention anything about what they have done that maybe you should do to me, it's kind of like, like my grandpa will constantly bring up examples of what he has done or what he did when he was 27 um, at his certain job. And then like try to advise me in the way that he had been advised or he had, or it, he would try to give me steps that he had taken. But it's like, listen, at the time that you got jobs, 
jobs were probably much easier to get um i don't even know that for like facts or anything but let's just look at our demographics like being a young 22 year old woman who's a black woman who has worked eight jobs up until this point and who has gone to people within her field to see what to do to get a job i already am on the track of like doing what i need to do you a 80 something old man i feel so bad i don't want to drag him i'm not dragging my grandpa i'm just saying stop giving me unsolicited advice if you really just think about our demographics um you a 80 something year old man who like happened to get a job and have not worked as much as i have and are not my demographic cannot really speak into my life something that i have not already realized and that's just is what it is unsolicited advice to me from like older people comes from a place of i'm older i have this experience you're younger you don't have this experience you probably haven't realized the things that i realized because when i was 22 i didn't realize those things not saying that every single old person that tries to give you unsolicited advice thinks that way but <laughs> but for real <sighs> I the what stirred this inside me was a couple days before I left my campus post office job one of my very favorite my older favorite <laughs> mailman um was giving me unsolicited advice about like marriage and he was like at the end of the day communicate and I was like I know I am a communications major <laughs> like I studied communications I already know that um, and I get that it's kind of like a, oh, this young person thinks she knows everything. I don't think I know everything, okay? I, I studied communication doesn't mean I have, like, the whole entire, like, world at my disposal because I have a communications degree. It just means I know the importance of communication because I studied it for the past four years and took multiple classes that pertain to multiple relevant things related to communication, especially interpersonal communication. I know a little bit about that. So uh, he was like, and then he immediately got like, oh, well, that doesn't mean that you use it. And then he didn't say it that aggressively. He was like, oh, but that doesn't mean that you use it. It doesn't mean that blah, blah, blah. communicate blah, 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 blah. communication in a marriage is blah, 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 blah. and like stared at me in that like way that he felt that he was like speaking into my soul. And I was like, you genuinely like you don't even know. You don't even know what I've been studying. And it, gosh, I'm going to say this about communication and you're gonna listen <laughs> because even though you are young and you're studying communications it doesn't mean that you can use it but it's like why don't you ask me how i feel about communication why don't you ask me about how good of a communicator i feel like as though i feel i am is that a word is as that proper sentences am i having an aneurysm but basically like when like it was one moment of me being like i have a communications degree like i'm qualified and then him be like oh but wait oh but wait you're super young you don't really you, you, i don't think that you know i really uh but it but it was also like you've been divorced three times i don't feel like you even know how to properly communicate you're just figuring it out not saying i'm the like winner not saying i like have it all but it's like don't yell at me about you didn't he didn't yell at me he didn't yell at me guys don't like scold me about oh well that's how i communicate you have like ask questions as opposed to make statements and that's what so unsolicited advice to me is is like a lot of people don't give the disclaimer of like oh but this is just what i would do if i were in your position a lot of people love to love to just straight up give the unsolicited advice especially the back in my day people like back in your day we wouldn't even be speaking we would not even be in the same house because of segregation like back in your day you had so many structural flaws in the way that things worked uh and so in this day and age i don't want to hear about it simply because back in your day like circumstances were extremely different like especially as somebody okay also that is another thing that i do want to speak on i feel as though i'm very qualified um for a lot of things work is one of them sadly i haven't been getting a lot of jobs i will it's oh my god that air is so nice sadly i i okay i just feel like i'm a good worker i feel like even though i'm looking for work and sadly nobody's a 
I feel like the people that give unsolicited advice just look at the little surface level things about me, the traits, me being 22, unemployed, newly married. When you're somebody who's much older and are married and have a long relationship and have worked a certain job for like a certain amount of years, looking at somebody like me who hasn't even asked you about those type of things immediately people are so eager to just give their experiences about things as opposed to just like sussing out where somebody is and what they may need to hear like take yourself out of uh what i need this is gonna sound so bogus and don't take it the wrong way please whoever's watching this don't take it the wrong way especially when it comes to people who don't realize the value in like a uh in college education i feel as though i've taken a lot of very useful classes and um i genuinely do feel like i'm educated about very many things and there's some things that i have yet to learn obviously but when people who like know nothing about my major know nothing about what it took for me to get my degree people who haven't been to college this is where people are going to get mad at me people that's where i'm like i don't even think that you really can like speak to me and like give me anything i can use because you don't really know a lot about me and a lot about what i've studied and what i've got what i know you know especially okay being a uh, black immigrant who's young and married and doesn't have a job you have to recognize me separate to that like view me as the person who's worked eight jobs the person who's studied communications in college the person who's very creative like look at me for things that i've accomplished and things that i don't need the things that i could be skilled in or could be wise about you know what am i trying to say that's basically the foundation of who i am is the things that i've studied in college the jobs i've worked because they've made a lot of my experiences my professional experiences which has bled into my personal and then relationship wise like know me and my spouse so that you can know how to speak into us but a lot of people who give me unsolicited marriage advice don't know me and my spouse so it's like really <laughs> can you really speak to me thank you so much for just letting me get that off my chest because i seriously <laughs> i need it to stop unless you're qualified to give me unsolicited advice i don't want it couldn't care for it i will listen and give you attention but just know i'm probably not going to take it into heavy consideration please and thank you